Lahore Kalandars have had an uncharacteristically good start to PSL 6. Something seems to have clicked for them midway through PSL 5, and since then, they have only lost 3 of their last 13 matches. They have the same number of points as the teams above them, despite having played one game lesser than most of them. A lot of this success is down to them finally having a stable and dependable local core that is at the top of their games. Shaheen Afridi, Fakhar Zaman and Muhammad Hafiz have all been in excellent form, with the likes of Haris Rauf, Ben Dunk, David Wieser and Samit Patel producing match-winning contributions. Two of those mentioned will unfortunately not be a part of Lahore's campaign in the UAE. Tim David is perhaps the closest available like-for-like -like replacement they could find for David Wieser. The T20 numbers are very similar in the phase they are most effective, the death. But Wieser's value to the Kalandars can be seen when his T20 numbers are narrowed down to the PSL, where he essentially overperforms. The management will hope David can match Wieser's brilliance while being assisted by the likes of Rashid Khan and Sikuge Prasanna. With Shaheen Shah Afridi, Rashid Khan, Haris Rauf and the promising Ahmed Danyal in their side, Lahore almost covers all the bases of bowling in T20. The only missing piece is the new ball bowling partner for Shaheen. It is here where Samit Patel was expected to step in and complete their bowling attack. Akib Javed got a lot of flack for declaring that Samit was crucial to his team combination, but it is a testament to his quality that Lahore attempted to get two players to replace him. Sultan Ahmed was the Kalandar's highest wicket taker in the Abu Dhabi T10 league, and he has been brought in to replace Patel's power play bowling. Both bowl a majority of their overs in the power play, keeping it tight while also getting wickets, but Patel is an all rounder. While his batting may not be the most explosive, he can stabilise in innings in the event of a collapse. It is perhaps keeping this in mind that Lahore have bought in James Faulkner. He also bowls most of his overs in the power play while possessing similar T20 batting numbers to Patel. However, his batting has been in decline in recent times. The Kalandars will be a tad worried about the form of their captain, Suhail Akhtar, with him largely being responsible for them possessing the worst power play strike rate of PSL 6 so far. However, no matter the format, Suhail always seems to bring his A game when he plays in Abu Dhabi. As with most batsmen in the PSL, a majority of Lahore's batsmen score faster versus pace than spin, apart from Ben Dunk. They will look to him to lead the charge in the middle overs. While their bowling attack has enough quality to succeed anywhere, Haris Rauf, in particular, will be happy moving back to the UAE as he hasn't enjoyed the best of times while playing PSL in Pakistan. Lahore Kalandas would need no reminding of their poor PSL record in the UAE, but with a strong local core and overseas players who complement them, it may be time to make some new memories.